Hello friends, welcome to another video from BASIO BTEC. So today we will see something about electrical basics. The topic is here, independent and dependent sources. Sources means energy sources. Energy sources as you all know, we have voltage source and current source which will run an electrical circuit, right? And these voltage and current sources have some classification like independent and dependent sources. Uh, we will see to the chart now. Here is the chart. Sources are mainly independent source and dependent source. Okay. As the name itself says, independent means it does not uh, depend upon any uh, components that is connected to the circuit. And dependent source means just the reverse that is uh, that particular source depends on the parameter associated with that uh, circuit. Some uh, At some point, uh, the circuit component will be having some voltage drop or current drop, current drop etc. And that uh, according to that parameter, dependent source works. We will see to it. First of all, independent source voltage, uh, again there is a division to voltage source and current source. I will show you a typical figure, a very common electrical circuit, here it is. You can see there are 4 resistors and 3 sources. What all are they? Here we have a 1.5 volt voltage source, 12 milliampere current source and 3 volt voltage source, isn't it? That is, you can see negative positive inside a bubble, isn't it? That symbol is for voltage source, okay? And since it is a round over around it, we can say it is a, it is an independent voltage source, okay? And this is also uh, an independent source here. Since there is an arrow inside a bubble, you can say, you can call it as independent current source, okay? Here again, a negative and positive which indicates a voltage source. And since it is a round encircling this negative and positive, we call it as, uh, we specify it as independent source, okay? So, uh, basically, this negative positive uh, implies voltage source, arrow implies the current source and the round, the bubble enclosing those ideas, uh, those symbols uh, tell that... Uh, it, it specifies that it is a it is an independent source okay now um, and this is very common to uh, common to us from our lower classes itself we are dealing with such kind of circuits on only that is voltage source a pure voltage source and current source uh, what it indicates means whatever the value of these resistors are see here it is 47 kilo whether this 47 increases to 50, 100, etc. Any, any change in this resistors will not affect the voltage ejected from the voltage source, also the current produced from this current source. Okay, whatever the value of these resistors be, the value, the amount of voltage and current that is given out from these sources will be always constant, which means it is always independent of the parameters in this circuit which is why all these three are known as independent sources and according to the symbols inside you can classify into voltage independent voltage source and independent current source got it now the main aim of this video is to tell you more about uh, or give you a clear picture about this dependent source okay dependent source means uh, again there is a classification like voltage source and current source and for voltage source, again you have voltage dependent and current dependent. That is, we call it as VDVS, voltage dependent voltage source, voltage dependent voltage source and CDVS, that is current dependent voltage source. Again, for dependent current source, there is a similar classification voltage dependent current source VDCS and current dependent current source. So, here in this session, we are going to deal with I am going to give you a good idea about all these four, okay. Next page contains all the four examples, I will tell you now. See, first of all, uh, just focus on this diagram. You can see a battery here, a resistor here and something inside a diamond shape and another resistor. Obviously, this is a voltage source, very common to you, it is an independent 2 volt voltage source okay and these two are simple resistors and what about this this is our dependent 
source. Okay, so always the diamond indicates the dependent. Dependent. Okay, dependent source is always um, indicated represented by a diamond shape, and inside the diamond shape, you can see negative and positive. What did I say earlier? Negative positive is for voltage sources, is it? So, if a negative and positive is enclosed in a diamond shape, then it is a dependent voltage source. Okay. So, this is dependent voltage, voltage source. Also, here also in the next circuit, you can see uh, three bubbles which indicates independent sources and three resistors. Here is a diamond shape which says this is a dependent source and inside since it is having positive and negative we call it as dependent voltage source okay so these two these two circuits are dependent voltage sources and what is the difference between these two dependent voltage sources here you can see the term associated with this dependent source what is written near to it you can see 3 v2 isn't it what is that 3 times V2. What is this V2? V2, we have to search for the term V2 in this diagram. Here is the term V2. V2 is the voltage drop, isn't it? V2 has positive and negative upside, up and down. You can say that V2 is a voltage, okay? Since there is a positive and negative up and down, we can call V2 as a voltage and which voltage? V2 is the voltage dissipated in this 4 ohm resistor. So, whatever be the voltage dissipating in this 4 ohm into 3, 3 times of it will be the quantity coming out of this dependent voltage source. Okay, so if I am saying there is a 1 volt, 1 volt uh, drop, 1 volt drop in this 4 ohm resistor, I should multiply it into 3, 1 into 3, 3. So, 3 voltage is coming out of this source. And in some other point, it is having 2 volt, 2 voltage drop across this 4 ohm resistor. So, 2 into 3, 6, which means 6 voltage is emerging out of this dependent voltage source. So, as a whole, I can say this, this particular source, this dependent voltage source or this voltage source is always depending upon the voltage drop across this resistor, isn't it? Isn't it? It is not a constant throughout. Whatever the voltage is coming out, emerging from this 4 ohm, into 3 is the quantity, is the amount of voltage produced in this source. So, this is voltage dependent voltage source. Okay. So, here is your voltage dependent voltage source. Okay. Because this source is depending on the voltage of this resistor. And what about here? You can see the term near to this uh, dependent source is Ix. What is that Ix? We have to search for the definition of Ix in the circuit itself. You have to search for the term Ix. Here you can see Ix is an arrow which means Ix is the current. Current, which current? The current through the 3 ohm resistor. So, uh, that particular current through this 3 ohm resistor is the amount of voltage coming from this source. Okay. Never uh, confuse that this is a voltage source, but we have I term near to it. It is just a value. Ix is just the value of the current through the 3 ohm resistor. Whatever the value of that current is, the same voltage is developed in this dependent voltage source. Clear? So, this is this voltage source here it is depending on the current through a resistor. So, we call it as current dependent wait current dependent voltage source. Okay, so this is current dependent voltage source. Okay, now coming on to the third figure, uh, again there is there are two bubbles which indicates the independent source and three resistors. Here comes again a diamond shape for you, isn't it? So again this diamond shape is the dependent source. 
since there is an arrow inside it, I can call it as dependent current source. Okay. For the fourth diagram also, you can see a bubble which, it, which represents the independent voltage source and two resistors and a diamond which says it is a dependent source since it is a, since there is an arrow inside it i can call it as dependent current source okay now the the thing which differs both the circuit will be the term near written near to this source that is here you can see two ix so search for ix in the diagram ix is over here ix is an arrow which says it is a current ix is the current passing through one kilo so double the current that passed through one kilo ohm is the amount of current that is produced in the source. So, it's, this is a current source. So, it will be producing current only. And what amount of current will be emerged out of out from this source? The current that passes through 1 kilo ohm, double of it. Double of the current that passes through 1 kilo ohm is the current emerging or produced by this source. Okay. And finally, for the fourth diagram, you can see here is a current source and the term and uh, the value written here is for V and what is V? So, for that uh, definition, we have to search for V in the circuit and you can find V over here, here, which says that V is the voltage drop across this 3 ohm resistor. Okay. So, whatever the value of voltage drop across the 3 ohm resistor, 4 times of that value will be produced in this current source. That many that much amount of current will be produced in this current source. Okay. So, this is, uh, this thing is current dependent current source and here you have voltage dependent current source. Fine. So, this is an example for VDVS voltage dependent voltage source this is an example for current dependent voltage source here is the example for current dependent current source lastly voltage dependent current source okay and every calculations or every theorems apply, apply, uh, applying for these particular circuits will be the same as you do for independent voltage source itself also okay that is you can uh, apply the same method of solving Thevenin's theorem Norton's theorem etc any theorem or principle can is applicable for all these four circuits also okay this is just uh, the source uh, source value source is just depending on the parameter inside uh, parameter inside uh, any of the command in the circuit okay so hope it's clear for you if you like the video if, if you like the class please like like uh, please subscribe to the channel and till we meet in the next class, this is me, Minu, signing off. Thank you and take care.